All right, I am here with Shannon Ash Ashley uh, okay. on something new this week. I'm excited to have Shannon uh, on here this week. We, uh, Shannon is a photographer that specializes in high school senior portraits in Bryant, Alabama. Say hello, Shannon. Hey, how's everybody doing? <laughs> it's great to have you on here. Um, I, I have been excited to have you as one of my podcast guests. Uh, we don't know each other that well, but it's been great to get to know you over the last few months. Uh, Shannon is a, is a mentor and a coach on the group. And I have to say straight up from the front, she is our, uh, she has booked the most sessions of anybody on the group so far. Oh, so, yay. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. it's been exciting uh, to, to, to have her. And um, everybody that's, that's worked with you at this point has been, uh, has had a great session with you. So not, awesome. not, not to get to right into a plug, but um, I, I thought I, it, it was important to mention that up front. So. Anyway, here we are. Um, things are starting to, uh, if you're listening now and uh, you're not listening immediately from this week, uh, we're recording this this week. It is the first week of, is it the first week of May? Yes, we're still in the first week of May. What's today? Today is May uh, 7th. The 7th. Yes, yeah. so we're still in the first week of May. Uh, things are opening up across the country. And um, so I guess my first question to you, and I know we talked about it briefly, uh, you are from a small part of uh, Alabama. Tell me what's going on in your little city or world well, town. <laughs> yeah, we really, uh, like I, uh, I said, we have a population of 51,000. I think we have 50 cases, 50, and they may have added two yesterday, so maybe 52. But we actually start. we were, we started like March 3rd, I think was our first case. And that was in my actual small town of 3,500 people. So we've kind of, and but things haven't really spread too much but 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 we're so far apart anyway that we just haven't you know the the family that did get it i think everybody in that family got it but it didn't spread any further so that that was a good thing and we haven't had any more cases in my community since then and our county is staying at about the same numbers so you know that's a good thing for us that like I said, we're just so country anyway, out in the country that everybody's out. Nobody's close to anybody anyway. So, right, so right. really we're not actually seeing the same thing that a lot of people are just because we're not as populated as a lot of places. Right now, just, I have no idea where Bryan, Alabama is. Where, what's the closest city to you? Chattanooga, okay. Tennessee. Chattanooga. Okay. Yeah. Chattanooga. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, Chattanooga, they of course are going to have more cases sure. and it, yeah. So, um, they're about, Chattanooga is about 40 minutes from me. And I think Chattanooga is starting to open back up also. I haven't done, you know, I pretty much, when they said shelter at home, like, oh, pretty much sheltered at home. So <laughs> I didn't go anywhere, but I did go trade a bike drop yesterday. So to another photographer in Chattanooga, and I saw quite a few people out. I think they're starting to open the stores. Restaurants are still closed, curbside only, uh, you know, like I said, it's just so random here what businesses are open versus the ones that are closed. Like you can go to a thrift store, but you can't, and you know, you can't go to TJ Maxx. It's just different, which I haven't been anywhere because I am a little spastic about it all. So I just try to stay away. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, you know, the people who are in the more rural areas, uh, in this case, definitely are, I think, enjoying a, a I hate to say a better quality of life right now, but to, exactly. But to be able to, you know, be able to go out and, 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 you know, if you do need stuff like, you know, here in St. Louis, be going to the Costco isn't is much of a big deal, whereas my friends in New Jersey are standing in line for, you know, two hours to get into Costco or, yeah. you know, right. Home Depot or things like that. So, you know, there's definitely been a little bit of an advantage. And, and my friends in the in metro areas of the city, a lot of them have just left. They've just, you know, if they have a country home or a place that they could go to outside the city, they just say it's kind of unbearable. Even though, oh. ironically, living in New York City, it, the streets are empty in Manhattan, which is just right. eerie to see. So Right, right. Yeah. Uh, that's awful. And I, like I said, I don't, you know, I don't think any, you hear something different every day. You don't really, yeah. all I know is if they say shelter at home, I'm at, I'm at home, you know, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, but yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, most of the country has, has followed a lot of the orders, which leads me to, you are lucky. You're one of the, you know, uh, 
from a photography standpoint, you have been able to, or you, you're back to work now. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how long you had to, you know. I, I'm watching my friends across the country, our friends, who some of them can, some of them not. Here in St. Louis, there's been uh, very much a back and forth on the St. Louis Photography Group, whether or not you can actually work or not. They've sent letters to their local county uh, uh, executors. And it's been interesting because the, the answers they've gotten have been all over the place. Some, exactly. Some people have said, yeah, you can go to work. Some people haven't. And then there's the arguments between the photographers about whether they should actually be working or not. Regardless. Exactly. And I mean, I've seen some people comment they're not going to work until a vaccine's out. And I'm like, you know, that could be years. I, so I don't know the answer. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's not, yeah, so, and you know, you also have to look at people's circumstances. Some people don't have to work till the vaccine comes out because they don't need, some people are supporting their family, so it's just, you know, I have no, I'm just trying to, you know, keep it, stay in my lane, which is what I've always done, is to stay in my lane, do what my county government says, and, you know, you really can't get into all that. I, I don't, I just, you know, everybody, you know, has a different situation, different circumstances. So you just kind of have to do what your government, your, your town, your area tells you to do. Yeah. So that's, that's the way I look at it. And that's, I mean, that's, you know, what, you know, the attitude we, we have to keep. And, and you exactly. know, for those of you who, uh, you know, I, I, and I personally am not judging anyone who has to get out of work and do their thing. And Oh, me and, either. You know, and it's hard, I, you know, in our household here, my wife has a full-time job and, and we have been very fortunate that she has had no disruption. Thank God. Uh, Same here. Right. My husband, he's a he's a programmer. My boys, they just graduated college. They're at the house. Both of them are pro or one graduated college, one's a senior. But you know, they all have computer jobs they can do at home. So it's it's really I I would never judge anybody for anything because I'm in a completely different right. situation. Right. And my husband has worked the entire time. Mm -hmm. You know, I have not worked since I think that they shut which Alabama was one of the last states to do the shelter at home. I actually was so stressed out about it I kept thinking if she does not do it soon we're just all gonna die and <laughs> but now I, I was like in a state but now I realize you know she she saw the numbers uh, Governor Ivy did a good job she didn't close too soon you know she knew what she was doing and, and sometimes we don't see you know everything the big picture we just see certain parts of it but but she she did do a good job and and Alabama still at this point is not you know it's not as bad as some states, so I mean, right, right. that's so, good. So let's talk about on something new every week, and we went a little longer than I usually wanted to, but you know, let's talk about what you're doing right now. So I mean, this is a busy, regardless of coronavirus, this is a busy time of year for you, right? So oh, what do you, what, absolutely. What's happening in your business right now? What are you up to? Well, uh, up until this week, I've been doing nothing, but well, I haven't just wasted the time. I really haven't. I yeah. actually did do some mentoring. We've, I've done so yeah. many Zooms, you know, just tried to stay, uh, stay active. I've kept in touch with my seniors. I've got a senior model group. I'm in there all the time. We're talking. We're planning senior model shoots. You know, this has given us a good break. To We should have some really awesome senior model shoots now we've had a lot of time to plan them so mm -hmm. my girls we've been in there doing that i've been doing uh, some online mentoring i've you know like i said a lot of zooms and different groups we started a book club and one of my groups you mm -hmm. know we're you know all educational things just uh -huh. anything to to really push and i've also which i've always done santa sessions which are for the younger kids and it's really between seniors and i, I shoot everything i'm in a small town right. so when you're in a small town you know you you pretty much take care of all their needs right. so uh, I've been doing Santa sessions for about five years and I, I just started honestly doing them for friends and family and you know I had to pay Santa to come so I'd book a few more and then it's just grown every year but those are huge money makers mm -hmm. so uh, during my downtime I've been planning those Santa sessions hoping to recoup some of what I've lost you know I've lost so many I would also do for I really only did it for my senior models but I would do prom minis but that was just another benefit of being on my senior model team. I booked those up like crazy because I have a pretty significant senior model team. So, I mean, you know, I've lost so much money just on those prom minis that probably won't. I mean, you know, they say they're going to happen at this point. I'm not sure that proms will happen. I mean, I hope they do for the kids, but I don't know. So I'm really going to try to, um, you know, recoup some of the losses that I've had this 
spring in the fall and at Christmas. So I've really been, you know, doing a lot of research on the Santa sessions, hoping that this year that I can make those even better than they've ever been. So I haven't wasted the time, right. but you know, it's been hard. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say I haven't wasted a good bit of time, but I, I've tried. No, so, yeah. yeah, and I think all of us, you know, needed a break to kind of, you know, decide what we're going to do with this time, and we go back and forth with it, and it's interesting that you, you know, um, have kept in touch with your seniors, and you've tried to do things with, with them to try and, you know, maintain those relationships. Book club, club what a great idea. Yeah, um, it's been a lot of fun, yeah. and it gives me... We test, you know, it's photog. Oh, well, that's with the photographers. That's not with my senior model team. And we we just pick okay. an educational book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like right an now. Interesting idea with the seniors as well. Though. Oh, you know, it really would. Yeah. But yeah, but uh, no, th that's with the photographers. But we're having fun. We've read Carl Kaler's book. Now we're doing Lindsay Adler's posing book, and okay. and it gives every we all check in. You know, we all for the first few minutes we're just catching up with how everybody's doing in their states and we're all in the same boat we're all just right. sitting at home and doing the best we can do you know so it, it really kind of keeps you from going crazy it's been it's been a lot yeah. of fun though well yeah. i mean spending the time to learn has oh has absolutely been you know uh, it's been a blessing for i think a lot of people what i'm really curious to see what's going to happen is what people do with this after they're done absolutely you know learning from guys like carl Taylor or Lindsay Adler, for that matter, they both have so much, so much to give, uh, and and so much to teach us. Uh, Carl is also a mentor on the group, so everyone mm. knows. Oh, he's uh, great. His book is great. We yeah. all enjoyed it. We had a pretty, pretty good book club group, so we enjoyed yeah. it. Okay. Uh, so, for those of you who don't know Shannon, uh, going back on on her history a little bit, Shannon is a photographer based in in, in, in the rural area of Alabama. Can you just give us a little bio on how you became a photographer and, and you know, tell us a little bit about yourself if, if we don't know who you are? Sure. Uh, I've been a photographer like 14 years. Uh, basically, you know, it's kind of cliche, but, you know, I started taking pictures of my kids and then mm -hmm. I just proceeded from there. But um, so I started and, and really I kind of kept with their age you know when that when I first started I guess they it was 14 years ago Dylan's 20 they're nine and ten mm -hmm. so at that time I was doing more younger kids mm -hmm. and then as they grew by the time they got to be about ninth tenth grade all of my friends had teenagers right. so that's when I really started specializing in seniors mm -hmm. but again and now what's funny is I talk about the Santa sessions well all of my friends kids are now having babies so I'm kind of I'm still seniors is my 95 percent seniors but I still want to make sure that I can always provide you know good quality right. baby pictures uh, right. like the Santa sessions anything like that so I'm still a little bit of everything even though the majority is seniors okay. and that's what I really love is the seniors so um, based on what you told me before so you've been shooting for about 10 years no 14 14 okay you said 14. oh yeah yeah Sorry, I wasn't yeah. listening <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> No, I've asked, I went into business September of 2006. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. So almost 14 years, yeah. Got it. Uh, it, it. You make an interesting point about how we follow our, our, our a lot of photographers' businesses follow around our kids. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I was thinking about that yesterday where uh, my kids are not are 10 and about to be 11 and 13. And I, I've been doing a lot of family pictures, and a lot of it is because I have access to those families. Yes. And, you know, I started, you know, uh, moving from, I mean, you know, I, I haven't shot in many years since WP, since I left WPPI. So I'm building my business now here in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. And the, the logical place for me to start was on, you know, shooting families because I have access to all these friends who have said to me, will you shoot my families, right? Right. So I'm, and, and I was a wedding photographer for 25 years in New York City. Mm -hmm. So um, it's been an in interesting, you know, way. I don't want to go back to shooting weddings again. And those those days are... Yes, that's days. the only thing I'm just like, uh, no. <laughs> now, even then, I have done them for a friend, you know, a smaller mm -hmm. wedding. But, but yeah, I never have any interest in weddings. <laughs> and don't, don't get me wrong. I would... I, I, I would be happy to go out and shoot weddings with anybody as long as it's not me from beginning to end. Right. I, I loved shooting weddings. It's the, it's 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 just a different time for me right now. So shooting families. Oh yeah. And yeah. then I'm sure it's funny that because I was thinking about this, in that I'm sure that 
I will eventually wind up shooting high school seniors. And that market to me was, I always admired being in New York, there's no high school senior market at all. It just doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And here and where you are, it's such a huge business. And oh, I, yes. I always, you know, have been like, wow, this is such a neat, creative market. But it didn't exist in New, in New York, New Jersey, which is it, it, really interesting di dynamic in that sense. Um, and I know some some photographers have tried, but just never really got anywhere. But that being said, I, you know, I, I, you know, was saying to myself, I, I sent a note off to I was really inspired with a Matt. I don't know if you saw there. There's a photographer in um, Virginia. I think it's Virgi I think it's Virginia who volunteers. His name is Matt Mendelson volunteered to shoot every high school senior in in his little town, which was 500 kids, but in his little town. Oh my town. gosh, and yeah, and that is. Going around shooting every every kid. So I actually just sent a note off to to some of the high school administration to, to volunteer to do that. And I'll take the next three months doing that if I can. I really hope to do uh, Is that again. for free? Are you getting paid for that? Uh, or no, would... I would do them for free. And they would, wow. just be, they would just be mini sessions. Because I do feel like we're at a time right now where all these high school seniors have really to not have a graduation. Yes. I, I still remember that. It was many years ago. Mm -hmm. It's one of the coolest days of my life, being able to get that diploma. And to be robbed of that, I think, is, is, is incredibly unfair. Uh, it is. I have got something. Uh, in the works with my seniors and I don't know when we'll be able to do it but what I, most of mine have had their senior portraits because like you said senior portraits are just such a big deal here yeah. they start booking them if they you know the the summer after their 11th grade year I mean they're they're so ready they're for done. them yeah. but I mean I did have a few that that were going to wait to sp until spring but uh you know we're, we'll get those done but I have I've decided to do like a, a a senior day where we go somewhere like Huntsville, Chattanooga, somewhere that's a little bit out of, you know, ordinary for us. And we'll go and just spend a day kind of like a lifestyle, just do tons of pictures for these kids. Just let them have fun and, and a, a ton of pictures, which I'm not sure how that's going to work out yet, you know, because we're still waiting to see when things are going to calm down. But yeah. And, and I may just start bringing some in that, that haven't had anything. I know I've got a one girl, but luckily she was on my senior model team. Mm -hmm. So she's got a ton of pictures because I used her for a lot of different things. And she has not been able to do her senior portraits. She was going to wait until spring. So, and she's going to come in from one of my mentoring sessions too, because like I can zoom my mentoring sessions. So that works out really good. But yeah, so yeah, I don't think we have that problem though as much just because our seniors are so gung-ho to get these senior portraits done so early that it really didn't affect that many. Right. But I, I, I get wanting to do, it's such a struggle. It's you want to do for them, but you still also have to make a living. So the struggle is you don't want to give so much that you undervalue what you do. Right. And especially in my community, because it's not hit as hard as others. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's almost like, I don't even know how, you know, not a lot has changed here. Right. You know, people are, st so other than the fact that the seniors have, but they are saying that they're going to reschedule graduations and reschedule proms. Some schools have that's already great. given out dates for that. Yeah. That's great. And, and I'm, I'm hearing the same thing too. And to, and to be clear, like it, this wouldn't really be about, this would be more, what, what my vision for this is more about um, taking a photo outside their homes and making a slideshow to celebrate them, not right. necessarily about senior portraits. So what, what Matt did, which was really interesting, and he's a really uh, amazing photographer. Uh, I'll, put a, I'll put a link to his photography, uh, mostly wedding stuff and, and photojournalism. He took a background like a like a oh, I saw that yeah, like, you know, I like a, saw like a, it like a, like, a, like a dark charcoal background yes it was like an old master creative yes but, loved know, those be all in black and white and so like he's not devaluing anything by you know giving this is a project that he gave um he this is a project that he gave um but wasn't necessarily about giving you know I mean they're actually pretty beautiful but Oh, I saw them. They are them. beautiful. I love really, them. It really wouldn't be about that. Yeah. How he, how he did 500 kids. And I've meaning to reach out to him. If I will reach out to him if, if they say yes and, and see what happens. But you do make – I want to go back to the senior day that you talked about. So the senior day is really interesting 
as a, as a way to keep connected with your kids and do something. But I'm curious, what, what are your thoughts about how you're going to handle hair and makeup and stuff like that, you know, with your kids going forward now? Do you, I mean, it's just something I just, I'm thinking about. Well, I tell the, the moms, you know, that, that it's closed. We can't do that. And I basically, you know, to me, they're adults. They can, mm-hmm. you know, they know what, they know just like I do what the governor has said. I'm not scheduling it. I'm not taking care of any of that because, okay. you know, legally I can't. You know, what they do on their own, own is up to them. You know, I, if they do it themselves, you know, that's just up to them. Up to them. I'm not. I'm not involving myself in that. That's just between that's them and, nice. yeah, right. yeah. It's just nothing to me. Yes, and I don't want to know what they do. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> you know, you know, yeah, I'm just like, right? I stay yes. in my lane. I've always stayed in my lane and, you know, I do what they tell me to do. Like, I, I'm very, um, and I am very, like, a little high strung anyway about anything. So I'm going to be, if they, if a rule is a rule, I go by the rules, you know, always. And I also, I mean, and I, the when I was trading the backdrop the other day with a photographer, I was like, I no to- a zone that said they might tow me. And of course, I live in the country. We don't worry with stuff like that. And I went in there and I just kind of joked and I said, they're not going to tow me, are you? And she said, oh, yeah, they will. But it'll take 45 minutes to the- for the tow truck to get here. I almost had a heart attack. I was like, I got to go. You know, I've got to go before the police come and arrest me for my car. <laughs> so I could not even concentrate till I got back to my car. And I kept, she was wanting to trade smart. I was like, no, I've got to go move my car. <laughs> She just kept laughing. No, it's okay. So if it's a rule, I'm going to go exactly, you know, and do what they say. Right on. I'm not really one to, to, well, to so protest speak, or anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of rules, um, what, are your, what are your thoughts about how the next year looks like? Do you think that, you know, can you make any predictions of what you think is going to change? Um, obviously, this, this uh, great pause is going to affect you this year do you see what's your what's your re do, do you feel like you'll rebound and make up the money do you feel like you know it's gonna take a couple of years like what what, what do you oh, as a high school absolutely. senior and, and and a photographer in a rural like what's what's your crystal ball telling you for, for 2021 Oh, it's telling me that it's going to rebound and it's going to rebound in the next two months because these people, they are, like you said, they have, they have lost so much and they just want to get back. And the majority, you know, they're just, they want to get their pictures made. They're, they're messaging me constantly. My clients are talking to me. And I do think because I live in a county that hasn't been a hot spot or hasn't been, you know, we just haven't seen it quite as much. You know, most of the people in my county you know, they have been at home, but they've also, they just, you know, they just, they're ready. They're ready to get out. They're going to get out and do their senior pictures. I haven't had anybody cancel, you know, financial oh, okay. reasons or anything like that. I mean, we've just backed them up, rescheduled. Right. And really, I am the most expensive. I mean, I'm not as expensive as some, but in my area, I am like by far the most expensive one here. And and I honestly thought that everybody would cancel on me and they'd go to somebody cheaper. It's That's not what's happening. I mean, I am booking people. You know, I think it, I tend to think that it's one of those things that people are seeing how important it is now. So I'm, I'm booking them just like crazy now. So I think I'll be re, I won't exactly I won't rebound to everything because right. those prom mini sessions, mm-hmm. you know, I really did really well on prom mini sessions. And I even had, you know, one one school. It wasn't even set up as prom minis, but one mom just was going to have me come up. She had me loaded down, you know, so that was just thousands of dollars right there. Just, uh-huh. go, you know, more than that was just on that one night. So I'm not going to recoup those prom sessions. And there were, but I was never, I'm never, the only time I ever do any kind of mini sessions is in at Christmas. So I'm going up on my, you know, I'm going to recoup it during my Christmas sessions and things like that. So I'm really, I spent that time working on my Christmas sessions so that I'm okay. That's just four days in December or November. I can recoup that money. So I'm personally not worried about not being able to, to recoup what I've lost. And, and I've been shut down for almost eight weeks, but I mean, I'm, I'm worried about working myself to death, but not, (laughs) but you do, you do make a good point, which I'm seeing a lot of photographers, uh, doing and a trend that I'm seeing I saw with Jeff and Lori Poole 
and some other people that I've interviewed and basically what they're saying, very similar to what you, what you are in that you will continue with the business that you're doing, right? But you need to be creative. In other words, you're not going to slash your prices, which is no, my big absolutely. fear in our industry in general. You're not oh, going to yes. change your pricing. You're nope. not going to get. You're not going to. You're not going to panic about no. what you're doing. But what you're going to do is you're going to offer an additional service, or you're going to ramp up a service that you currently have, which is your Christmas mini sessions. And you've brought it up several times, so I can tell that you are really focusing on that so instead of oh. doing let's say you were doing 10 last year you want to make sure you're going to do 20 and you will re re recoup recoup no i'm going to double the price of the 10 <laughs> <laughs> and uh -huh. i'm going to still do 10 <laughs> but they're going to cost more <laughs> okay. yes so so that again that that is a that so that's an even so you're just going to make sure that you get a yes. better price for what you're doing instead of what I've heard some other photographers are doing. We're going to offer a different service. For example, you know, like I've thought about offering, uh, I'm offering less expensive sessions that are shorter for families to try and recoup some money down the road, but it's a totally different service. It's a totally different right. product, right? So you're not, right. you're not, you're not changing what you do. In your case, you're not even touching your high school seniors at all, right? No. And you're just offering something completely different. So exactly. Advice to photographers, and that's you know really, and and I'm looking forward to our our industry. I really believe is going to see some very different things coming out of this, some different services, some different ways of marketing, some different ways of using the tools that we have, whether it be doing selling online or I, I really think that. We're going to see some very interesting things from it, and and I think, and I'm looking forward to seeing what that education looks like because, I, I, I I'm really proud of this community. I think that we're we're going to be better as a, as a result of this. Like you said, in that, we have, um, uh, I think the value of, fo f pictures is going to be so like, our our the value of our families now is so important. We're now absolutely. Home. Right. And, and the value of prints yes. on the wall, prints, not just digital files, you know, mm -hmm. actually having those prints. So, I, I, like I said, if it, I would almost, I was really planning on going up this year. Mm -hmm. I, I may wait until it comes. I mean, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm, I'm going to hold off on that a couple of sure. months. But but I do think it, it, it's going to create more of a division between your shoot and burners that are just very cheap and your higher end photographers. And I think. I think I finally hit that level where I'm known as the most expensive. So, and and again, compared to some other areas, it may not be, but here in Jackson County, Alabama, I'm very expensive. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not changing a thing because it's almost like even more people want to book me now because it's mm -hmm. it's just odd. It's very, very odd how this all has hit mm -hmm. that that people. I don't know. I, I'm getting people more and more. Even during the virus, they were reaching out to book. I don't know. It's, it's odd to me. And I'm showing a lot of studio also. Mm -hmm. And I think that now the more studio I show, that studio is becoming more popular here. Because I'm, you know, obviously one of the only ones that does that. But we do both. We do studio and outside or on location. But I have seniors come to me just because I can do that. Mm -hmm. So... I don't know. Well, I I'm not. I imagine over the next few months too, it's going to get quite hot down there as well. So working in the studio is probably. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, the it's so humid here. Oh. It's just miserable. So that absolutely is a plus. It, you yeah. know, hair and makeup looks better. Right. So yeah, yeah, I love studio work though. You know, I love both. Well, and and for those of you who are not familiar with Shannon, her studio work is amazing and beautiful work and. Uh, we we all we all can learn a lot from her. Well, uh, thank you. With, <laughs> with that being said, we're gonna wrap up here a little bit. But I usually like to wrap up with talking about uh, things that uh, we can get to know you a little bit better. So questions that I've asked uh, people are: um, tell us about the kind of music you listen to on the way to a shoot. Oh, I'm all over the place. I mean, just uh, usually when the senior. You, you need a charge up. You didn't have your coffee and you need something. To yeah. Oh, I'm, 
I don't honestly usually I'm listening to a podcast and I wish I could say that it was a uh, uh, like a photography educational podcast but it's probably something like true crime or something <laughs> so crazy yeah conspiracy theories even though I'm not a conspiracy theory person I like to listen to that stuff random stuff just it's always random true kind so, of great podcast yeah yeah for those of you who are, are familiar with it uh your go-to uh like uh your go-to junk food Oh my gosh, all of it. Like I'm just junk food junkie. I, when this wraps up, I'm headed to the dollar store to get snacks because I actually said I missed my mid-morning meal. I'm going to get snacks. So anything, chocolate, anything, it doesn't matter. I eat junk food all the time. Right on, right on. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, so I think we're going we're gonna to wrap it up here. Shannon, uh, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. And um, Shannon is, Shannon speaks a lot at conferences um and uh, unfortunately i'm not sure when the next time we're going to see you and uh, it's going to be an interesting world we're in right now with with all the conferences whether it be sync or or whatnot but shannon uh is also available as a mentor on the group we'll put a link to her her there and um you know thank you for being on here again thank you for sharing your stories with us thank you thank you for having me it's been great all right uh, as, as we wrap up with something new every week, um, I've been saying to everybody, we hope that you're well out there as we come out of this. Things are still going to be tough for everybody. If you're struggling, as with all the other people that have been on the show, if you're you know, somewhere near Shannon and you want to reach out and you need somebody to talk to, Shannon is available. Um, she's a super friendly person, myself as well. Please, please reach out to us and, and let us know if you need some help, and, and we're here for you. And, you know, again, we hope that you're all well and, and be, being able to enjoy this. We've had a beautiful spring here. Oh, yes. It's, it's, we got another great week coming up, and get out, enjoy, um, enjoy yourselves out there right now. It has helped me immensely in my being able to get out and run, to clear my head, Get out and do it and, and, and help yourself. So, again, Shannon, thank you for being on Something New every week. All right. Thank you.